I think when people think of the name Douglas Elman, they think of a very old established company. Sometimes you can think of a very large company like Douglas Elman as a post office, but I must say uh, it's not the post office. It feels more like Federal Express to me. Or I, would just, I always think of it as sort of you know, this global company with this really small town feel. Elliman is run like a mom and pop, yet it's, it's the largest company with the biggest amount of resources. Um, and I feel I get more support at Elliman than I would get at any other large firm. Working with the previous real estate company that I was affiliated with, um, I kept being told that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And I was told by the manager at the original brokerage firm that I was at that I would never make it as a broker. So it wasn't until I came to Elliman where I suddenly felt that everything that I was was just fine. We're aggressive. Compared to the other big companies, you know, we want to get it done. I think the company is really a company that is very much about its people. I mean, it's a really big company, but it's run like a mom and pop business. And I think that that's a huge reason why we're here, actually. I can't imagine myself anywhere else. I don't want to be with any other people other than the crazy people that surround me at Element. They're perfect for me. When you, when you do like what you do and you are having fun, people are attracted to be around you because they're going, hey, where, where did they laugh now? It's so fun over there. I want to be part of that. The culture of element, like striving for excellence. It's backed by and run by people versus an unknown corporation. Really take pride in what we do and in creating new trends and not being afraid to try something new. I think Elman's like a family. Family? It truly is like a family. I really feel that the people here are very supportive. I think at Douglas Elliman there's a great sense of family. You know, we have all the syndromes of a family. Is it a dysfunctional family or functional family? I'm not so sure about that. I would say we're probably more like an expanded, expanded Brady Bunch where we have blended families because all the offices sort of come together. So we have a little of this culture, a little of that culture, and we all sort of mix.